Wish you could enjoy hot homemade waffles on busy weekday mornings. It's easier than you think. I have one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour in my bowl. I'm adding one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to whisk everything until it's well blended. At this point, you can store this in a container in your pantry for up to two months. Just give it a shake before you use it. When you're ready to make your waffles, combine one and three quarter cups of milk, you can use whole or two percent, with two large eggs and four tablespoons of melted butter. Pour your milk mixture over the dry ingredients and give everything a good stir. I like to use a fork so that I can scrape any bits of flour off the bottom. And don't worry if your batter is a little lumpy. That's exactly how it should look. At this point, I divide the batter to keep some plain and to stir some fruit or nuts into the other half. Today, I'm using some frozen blueberries. Ladle the batter into a preheated waffle iron. Based on this recipe and this kind of waffle iron, I get about 16 waffles, which is perfect because we can eat some the day I make them, and then I can freeze the rest and just heat them in my toaster on busy weekday mornings. And there you have it, crispy golden homemade waffles. Easier than you think. For this recipe and more, visit us at workingmother.com.